Hello friends, welcome to Block Bytes. Following the theme of covering the ETH Denver 2023 conference, this video is going to be about distributed validator technology and the projects active in this space. We have all encountered centralization issues on Ethereum raised by the Web3 community. Perhaps the biggest of them arises from centralization in staking and validation. At the moment, if we look at the node distribution, 63% of all nodes are running on a third party hosting service providers, followed by 35% in residential. Breaking down the hosting share, we see that Amazon Web Service dominates the hosting market with 67.5% of the hosting share, which is a big centralizing force for the network. Since any outage on AWS could potentially bring down a big chunk of the network. Now, if we look at the staking landscape, Lido controls 31% of all staked ETH on the Beacon chain. Although Lido is not one distinct entity, but a conglomerate of 29 odd staking providers, each with roughly 1% of ETH, it still needs to be decentralized further. The ideal solution would be to have more solo stakers than hosted stakers. Distributed validator technology is one step in that direction. Before we look at some of the key projects in this space, let's briefly understand what DVT does. DVT tackles some core problems which prevent people from becoming solo full node validators. These problems are the requirement of 32 ETH for solo staking. This is the most significant reason people go for third party staking service providers like Lido or Rocket Pool. Need for a dedicated computer with hardware requirements and a 24 by 7 network connectivity. As you can see, running a full node is currently out of the reach for the average user. DVT attempts to simplify solo staking by removing the 32 ETH mandatory requirement and splitting it amongst a cluster of machines and users. DVT also solves some of the problems that existing solo stakers experience. These include security of the validator key. Since the validator key is always online, it poses a security risk for the validator. Network resiliency and fault tolerance. A validator must run 24 across 7. So having a resilient network and a fault tolerant system is necessary. DVT also known as secret shared validators uses cryptography to break a validator key into four, seven, or 10 key shares. These key shares are dispersed to non-trusting nodes operated by operators, resulting in a robust and fault tolerant setup. These machines can be anywhere around the world, providing for geographic redundancy. Splitting the key into key shares ensures that no one computer has the entire key on it and so adds to the security of the validator. And DVT adds fault tolerance since it requires only a subset of these nodes to be online at any point. For example, a four node cluster running a validator. If one goes down, the validator can still function with three active nodes. The result is a more decentralized, robust and secure Ethereum protocol. Let's look at some of the major projects in DVT now. SSV network is the first public implementation of the SSV primitive, which began as a research project by Ethereum Foundation in 2019 and has since evolved into a DAO governed community driven network of stakers, builders, and node operators. SSV was the first secure and stable way to split an Ethereum validator key among non-trusting node instances. 
The SSV network focuses on providing a DVT infrastructure for DAP development. This means that DAP developers can now outsource validation service to the public network, but still control their validators. The SSV network has its own token, which it uses for payment. OBOL is another DVT project in this space. OBOL is different from SSV in that instead of having a public shared infrastructure, it allows people to come together to create their own clusters or nodes, but these clusters are isolated from the other clusters. This makes it more for solo stakers where friends can join and spin up a new Ethereum validator as a cluster of nodes. This approach has its pros and cons. The positive is that this is a much simpler design than a shared public network of nodes, which requires constant messaging and coordination amongst the nodes. But with simplicity, what is lost is redundancy and resiliency. As these clusters are independent systems and cannot fall back on each, each other if needed. Unlike SSV, OBOL does not have any token. Last year, Lido conducted an integration test with OBOL to see if it could run its validator using the DVT technology. Currently in Lido, validators are, can only join through a permissioned screening process, which they have been trying to do away with to become more decentralized and permissionless. Integration with OBOL is a step in that direction for Lido, uh, which as we know now will help in staking decentralization. The third project we will look at is Diva. Diva is an Ethereum liquid staking protocol powered by DVT. Simply stated, Diva is Lido or Rocket Pool with DVT, but at a smaller scale as it is new. Diva has created a two-sided staking pool. Users who are stakers stake their tokens via div ETD, a liquid staking derivative of the ETH token. There is no minimum ETH requirement for staking. For node operators, the reward has been boosted to two times the base reward. On Diva, you can become a node operator with just one ETH. Compared to other liquid staking providers, the critical difference here is DVT, which enables node redundancy and independent nodes with just one ETH bond in Diva. Distributed validator technology is already part of the merge in Ethereum's roadmap. And it is primarily meant to enable distributed validation operation for an ETH validator. Projects like SSV, OBOL and Diva are paving the way for DVT by proving the technology in the staking space outside of the base layer. DVT at the base layer and for staking will eventually drive more decentralization and resiliency to the biggest blockchain and further solidify its future as the new internet fight. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe. And I will see you next time with another fresh bite. Bye bye.